this will start part two of the KLR overhaul. So after the adventure of installing the new tires, installing the battery, and installing the air filter, I'm now on my way to my shop to go put the stuff from Revzilla that just shipped in the day after on my bike which includes a Two Brothers exhaust, I think it's the M7 carbon fiber exhaust and the Divi crash bars. So that's where I'll be on my way and I'll see you guys at the shop. Later. All right guys, and we're back at the shop. Well, this is technically the office, which it's connected to the shop. It's over that way, but here we go. This is uh, <laughs> part of the build in these boxes and bag thing. I'm um, just going to start off with the one that's already opened. Uh, this is my Cena SMH5 Bluetooth receiver. Once I get it out of the bag, there we go. So it's just that little tiny head unit that goes on the side of the helmet so I can have Bluetooth communication. Here's all the stuff it does. Intercom, one to three intercom, music sharing. Apparently you could share music across this. I have no idea how that works, but that's pretty cool. Uh, speed dial, advanced noise control, chargeable using, firmware upgradable, all that other stuff. So that's the first box. So put that over here. Okay, next. Put this down here. We got this uh, little bag, and I apologize. I have like a cough drop in my mouth because my so my throat is so sore. I don't know how that happened. So I'll try to suck on a suck on a hard candy to try to not make it feel as painful because it really hurts really bad. So what do we got in here? This is a 3M scotch tape. This is mounting tape for the uh, LED lights, which I forgot to actually bring down. I was going to bring those down, but we're not installing the LEDs until part three, so that's where that will take place. Um, let's see what we got next here. I guess I'll go to the box from Amazon.com next. Save the good stuff for last. Oh, that was almost my finger. Bad scissors, bad scissors. Why are they so hard to open? Oh my god, it's a box in a box. What in the world? Boxception there. Two boxes. They tricked me. They sent me a box. No, I'm kidding. Frustration pre-packaging. Oh, this looks pretty frustrating to me. However, kept my goods safe all the way here. So, ah, that's what they are. Microfiber towels. There are 12 of them in blue, green, and yellow. That's to uh, for the Plasti Dip. So we can wash the bike. Well, use the microfiber towels to hand wipe the bike down and make sure it's all clean and everything. So that's what those are for. That's good. Um, all right. Since I'm using that box as a box to like hold everything off, let's just go to this one. Here. See what this inquires, what's inside. These three boxes are all from Revzilla.com. It's a major online motorcycle store. Lots of products for lots of different bikes. That's where I got most of my belongings here for the KLR. Okay. Oh, this is the exhaust system. There we go. Hold on. Gotta flip this around a minute to show you guys. Bo bam. 
two foremans, two brothers racing performance M7 carbon fiber exhaust. That's actually really nice packaging. Got packing foam to hold the exhaust in place in the center here in the side so it doesn't move while it's shipping. That's really nice. I like that. It's even got a custom carrying handle on top for it, so that's really awesome. Make my bike sound like a badass. Okay, let's try this little box. How do I open such box? I guess over here. These guys really know how to market. They got their tape, has their name on it. The boxes have their name on it. Still waiting on a couple things from Amazon, and I'm waiting for the dip from Dip Your Car still, but this will give us a good project for the second day. Apparently, you didn't want to play nice. And there's another box. Ah, this is my, uh, my Icon Battle Scar helmet. Icon variant. Battle Scar. So it's in this box. Um, let's see if I can pull it out for you guys to show you what it looks like. Ooh, I like that. Check this out. I don't know how well the GoPro could pick that up, but that's really cool. Urban Assault Helmet. Structure manual taped that. Wow, this is a nice bag. Holy crap. That's probably why it's... <laughs> why it's a lot of money wow that's really nice i know i'm kind of jumping the gun here this is kind of but here you go this is what it comes the bag that it comes in with these really long uh tight cables to keep the helmet in the bag and we're gonna open this up here see what the helmet actually does look like apologize i'm not a professional helmet opener Oh man, that's. Hold on, come on. I know you could do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Well, it's actually like a matte finish on this helmet. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, okay. What's in here? Uh, mesh shielding. Uh, microfiber towel, I guess, to clean the lens. That's oh, a tight fit. But yeah, here you go. Icon Battle Scar in all of its glory. Very, really awesome helmet. I like that. I like it more in person now that I see it now in my hands than I did when I was looking at it on the internet. So, that, that's pretty cool that they give you a microfiber towel and cleaner to clean your face shield and uh, all that's jazz. Actually, I'll just throw this over here for temporary purposes. I promise I'll put that back in the bag. I promise. They also give you a spare windscreen. This is the tinted visor with uh, a color manual at the bottom showing all the different uh, face shield colors that you can buy for the helmet, which is awesome. Last but not least, the biggest box of them all, and we're saving this for the last. Hurrah, which I'll put the camera here. What could be in this box? I'm still Revzilla stickers again. Oh god, that hurts. My throat hurts so bad. <laughs> Baggies. Well, at least my stuff's safe. At least Revzilla cares about that. Bunch of plastic bubbles. Okay, 
Uh, these are my Gibby, Gibby Crash Bars. They're wrapped in this uh, bubble wrap. Both together while it actually weighs quite a bit for me to pick up with one hand. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. They're, well, you can't really see, but they're in there. You can see the steel bar. They're in here. So that is going to be for the right and left side of the bike to prevent it from falling over. Well, not prevent it from falling over. But if it does fall over, it lands on this and not the gas tank or anything else. That's really valuable. So cool. That's all of the stuff. Well, about all the stuff I want to put on today. Mainly today's project is going to consist of the Gibby Crash Bars and the Two Brothers Racing Exhaust. We're going to put both of these on today in this video. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to do today. Oh, Icon Battle Scar. Uh, GoPro mount on the side somewhere. This actually feels really slick, though, so I'm kind of worried about the 3M sticking to it. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, GoPro mount and the Icon, or the, not Icon, this is Icon. Uh, the SEMA Bluetooth receiver will probably go about here on the helmet. The GoPro adapter will probably go about here or here. Probably about here and then have it stretched out over here so you're sitting like this alongside the helmet. So, But uh, yeah. Alright guys. Be back when we do the time lapse slash kind of explaining why we're going to install the uh, racing exhaust and the Gibby crash bars. Till then. See you then.